Hey, happy Mortgage Monday. We're going to continue our series talking about the underwriting process, and this week we're going to talk a little bit about what actual underwriting means. So we've submitted your file, um, and really, the purpose of underwriting is for the underwriter to go through and verify um, all of the information that we verified already as part of the pre-approval process. They're going to go in and make sure that your income calculation makes sense. They're going to go through and make sure that the uh, assets that we're using uh, for the down payment are all present and from an acceptable source. Um, they're going to go through and, and verify you know, employment start dates and end dates. Uh, and really, it's just a re-verification of all of those things that we looked at in order to pre-approve you in the first place. Um, once your loan is credit approved, it has that initial approval, um, you know, we will get a list of conditions or stipulations that are required in order to get your loan final approved. Um, so common things there would be getting homeowner's insurance for the new home, um, getting your appraisal back uh, to support the value of the purchase price, um, title commitments to make sure we've got clean title to transfer the property. Um, you know, we probably will have to do a, a, a verification of employment again 10 days prior to closing to make sure that you're still employed. Um, and then from there, there can be other various things depending upon circumstances of, uh, of the documentation we submitted that may need to be verified or may need additional information in order to be verified. Um, once we have all those things back uh, based on that list from the initial underwrite, we will submit your loan for final underwriting approval, uh, at which point once that has been done, your loan will be final approved or cleared to close. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit more about uh, the closing process uh, in next week's session.